Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, this is very fun. This is the Bridge of Angels in Rome. Uh, so I did a video of the drawing. If you're interested, you can watch that. Uh, we're going to do this. Begin with the sky. This is a combination of phthalo blue and uh, ultramarine. Trying to get it uh, a nice, rich blue color. Okay, uh, so we're just painting that down, painting around the statue. The bridges, uh, if you haven't been there, uh, the bridges uh, has all these statues of angels every maybe 100 yards or so. And it's, it's very beautiful, very crowded all the time, hundreds of people walking up there. All right, just painting around that. I'm painting around everything but the statues. I left that little piece of light and there's another sort of castle building in the background that we'll, we'll paint it around for now. Um, it has a shadow on it that we'll do later. But okay. So by doing this, it really helps you to, to see uh, your composition helps you to see the light, where the light's going to be, and uh, what you have to emphasize. So I just painted around the statues. Now uh, the rest of this is all the bridges. Uh, I'm changing to a, a little raw sienna here, mixed a uh, little of it mixed with the blue, but you know in some areas it's more raw sienna. In some other areas, it's uh, more reflecting the blue, so. That's the shadow on the bridge. Bridge is getting a lot of light, a lot of people on that bridge. Just so you just paint the bridge as if the people weren't there. All right, there's the sidewalk. That's just the gray. Uh, it's the blue mixed with the raw sienna. And this, I added a little bit of rose for the road itself. So there's a bridge with the curb and the road, and I'm using the same rose uh, violet color on the on the bridge railings there. All right, there's a there's a castle in the back that's very famous. Castle of Angels uh, was used in several plays, uh, Shakespearean plays, I think. Anyway, uh, ultramarine, little raw, uh, Quincy in there to make it nice and dark. I, I kept it towards the blue so that it's actually a, a cement building, you know, it's actually gray, but it, it's backlit, so we want to make it uh, appear to be in shadows. And so we'll just put a nice coat on that and we'll paint around those few, uh, few statues that are in the back and the lamp. The street light is there. And around that, I'm leaving a little bit of strip of light on the pole of the street light. There's an eagle on top of this building, uh, a sculpture. I gave the building a little spray so that would all wash down. All right, so now we're going to paint the uh, angel here. This the one in front obviously has more detail, so. I gave you a close-up of it. You want to look at it, paint it, you know, take your time painting this carefully. Uh, these are fun to do. I'm just using raw sienna here uh, with a little touch of the blue, the same as I did before. In some areas you'll push the blue a little bit because it's reflecting the sky, like right here in the in the wing. Get a little more blue picking up the reflection of the sky. The statue it's very warm, it's a warm shadow, so. Very dark behind the foot leg there. Same colors, raw sienna and ultramarine there. A little bit of cobalt maybe. All right. Just give you a rough idea what it looks like, you know. Uh, now we're back. There's a uh, another building in front of the castle. It has a, um, you know, that 
I don't know what you call that top. Um, you know, it looks like another castle in there. But that gives us a nice backdrop for that, uh, for that statue. You can make it nice and dark and it makes that statue really pop out. Just take your time, you know, paint around those. Yeah, this is really good, good exercise, good brushwork. All right, I'm using a little quinciana here with the, with the blue uh, on the very end of it. It's very dark, so just put that in, rinse out your brush, pick up uh, some quinciana, let that bleed right into that dark shadow. Keep it nice and juicy. See a little warmth now that just water, just taking water and washing the rest of it. So it gives you a nice sense of the turn of the building. Bringing the shadow down in blue. You know, just let it, that's ultramarine. There's a flag on top of that little castle building. I uh, got some figures walking on the bridge and I will put those in. Uh, There's a woman, I'm putting her in, uh, she's in the shadow and very dark. Walk in there and put a, she's got a handbag. All right, so we've got a few more figures. Pop those all in. Nice little action. And I'm just putting a few colors down there, a little red, a little blue, and then I'll put some legs on it and then pop some heads on there. And it'll look like figures. Beautiful. All right, we need a few more here in the middle. Okay. the heads on. Just take your time, you know, if you have a piece of scrap paper, you can practice some figures on the side first before you do them on your paintings. Alright, little Rossi in there and those statues. A little more on the on the bridge itself, in the in the shadows of the bridge, it's reflecting the light. All right, I apologize here. I lost a piece of my uh, video where I was applying those shadows. They're just ultramarine, uh, ultramarine blue with just a little bit of uh, quinciana to gray it down. And if you want a little bit of rose, give you those shadows casting across. Those shadows are from the, the uh, statues on the other side of the bridge reflecting across to this side and people walking on the bridge and you know so uh, I'm using a tiny bit of gouache here. Uh, I want some of those figures facing so I, I made their face a little lighter and I'm just going to punch up the dark behind this wall uh, of the bridge. It's a deep shadow so just deep ultramarine with some Quincy in it. Nice and dark on this side of the bridge. I'm just putting it in and I'm taking some water and washing it away. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe and if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.